Here is the x-axis idler, and it works just like our y-axis idler. The installation is almost identical. However, I did do this slightly out of order from the original instructions. You can see I have not attached yet the x-axis motor and pulley. I've done that on purpose because I find it slightly easier to line up the depth of the x-axis motor pulley if we actually install the x-axis idler first. Locate your X and Z plate for this step. You also need two of the Delrin idler pulley halves, two of the 624 bearings, one M4 18mm screw, one nylon spacer, and one M4 washer. Building the x-axis idler is just like it was to build the y-axis idler. So you've probably watched me do this once before, so I'm going to walk you through it quickly this time. I just need to connect the bearings and the Delrin circles here. Just kind of force that in there, and then I just kind of flip it over and just push it against the table. You want to insert it all the way down. It won't get entirely flat, but it does get pretty close. And move on to the next one, do the same thing. Push this in. Flip it over, press it against the table. And now that I have both sides, I need to put the spacer between. So the nylon spacer goes in the middle. So there's the idler pulley. Feed through the screw. And the other side gets the washer. Now we're ready to attach it. When you go to attach the idler, double check that you attach it to the correct side. It's really easy to mix this up. The correct side is the one with the indented circle. So you'll attach it right here. On the opposite side, you can see the circle is raised up. You do not want to attach it on this side. So you can identify the correct side over here, and then you want to put the idler in place. Double check that your washer is on the end of the screw that's about to attach to the plate here. Do not put the washer under the head of the screw. It's really easy to mix that up. Go ahead and get that set in place. Tighten it by hand to get it started, and then just make it firm using your Allen wrench. You should still be able to spin the wheel. That pulley should spin freely. And now you're ready to move on.